Hola guys, so welcome back to another video and this one we'll be looking at the Hessian matrix or as some other authors pronounce the Hessian matrix okay so where's the Hessian matrix well in terms of um, uh, for a typical function we what we're trying to compute for Hessian matrix is the second partial derivatives for for any given independent variable up to xn terms Okay guys, so let's pick a nice easy example, okay? I'm gonna pick a function of just two variables just for the purpose of computing. Instead of x1, x2, I'm just gonna call it x and x, y. X and y, sorry. So the function in my mind is gonna be fx squared plus xy cubed minus y squared, okay? So now all we have to do is differentiate this twice we need the um, fxx, fxy, and fyy. That's it. So for, well, first things first, we need the first partial derivatives. So what do we have here? So calculating the first partial derivative with respect to x, we treat everything as a constant except x. So differentiating this term, we're going to get 10x plus y is a constant. So differentiate x, you just get 1, so it'll be y cubed. And differentiating y squared, we get 0. Likewise. Now differentiating with respect to y, this part becomes zero. X is a constant, so y cubed becomes three drops down, subtract by one, you're gonna get three x y squared. Again, y squared is, a, is the variable interest. Drop it down, we get two y. Good, now what we need to do is compute the second partial derivatives of each one. So let's do this. So we're gonna have f x x, to present this respect to x, this is the only way we can differentiate, so we get 10. Now, different now doing x, y, the differentiation in this respect to y is the same as differentiating this with respect to x. Y, x, since they both yield the same result. So what do we do? Differentiation in this respect to y, we're gonna get, uh, we're just gonna get three y squared. Good. And lastly, we're going to differentiate this respect to y. What is this going to give you guys? Drop the 2 down, you're going to get 6xy minus 2. And all you have to do now is substitute this into the, the Hessian matrix, which we said was f dash dash. In this case, we just can call it xy, since we know how many terms we have. And it's going to be a 2 by 2 matrix. So the first position is f prime prime xx, which is 10. This part is going to be fxy, this would be fyx, so this would be 3y squared, 3y squared, and this last term would be fyy, fyy, so it would be 6xy minus 2. And that's it guys, this is how you do a Hessian matrix, you know, normally at this point we would substitute values, okay, so particularly maybe in a question they might tell you, I don't know, compute this at the point, compute the Hessian matrix at this for example let's just say do 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 zero one what would we get here so replacing x with zero and y with one this would just be three this would be three this would be zero and this would be minus two that's it guys hope this helps and if you need any more questions please let me know